Returning to college campuses this year is anything but business as usual. This is the way move-in day used to look at colleges and universities across the USA. But this year, because of COVID-19, move-in day involves testing, Ooh. waiting, and lots of social distancing. At the Indiana University campus in Bloomington, 10,000 students who live on campus have a staggered check-in schedule spread out over two weeks. Take some hand sanitizer before you leave, please. You. Students have to show today. proof that they've had a COVID test within the last 10 days. Then they're tested again, right on the spot. Woo, okay, perfect. James Flum is an incoming freshman. He has to wait 20 minutes for his result before he can continue on with the move-in process. Erica Hafine is also an incoming freshman. She already had COVID. Since I had no symptoms, I just had to isolate for 10 days. As for James, he's about to find out whether he tested positive or negative. They've asked him to wipe down the area where he's been sitting. Are you comfortable to receive your results with this company? I am. All right, you tested negative for COVID-19 today. Perfect. But the school does have a plan for students who test positive. We've set aside a significant amount of housing that's specifically for those who are in infected or who need to quarantine. When in-person classes start, the number of students in a classroom will be greatly reduced. This one maxes out at 11 people, including the teacher. This is a classroom that would normally be built for 25 or so. With uh, physical distancing, we've reduced that to 10. This is not your father's college experience for sure, but these students say they're going to make the most of a challenging situation. The fact that I'm just able to move in to some sort of dorm, that's awesome. Indiana University says they have a contingency plan in place to go fully online if there is a COVID-19 outbreak.